Hey again YouTube, Stickguy187 here, back again with another review, and this is on something that I have recently used as both a cane and a self-defense item. So today's review is going to be on the Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn walking stick. Uh, a few weeks back I was diagnosed with having pretty bad plantar fasciitis. In case you didn't know, that's tearing of the tendon between the ball of your foot and the heel of your foot. It hurts, it sucks, You're walking, yeah. So for the three weeks that I was doing um, the drugs and everything, uh, they recommended to keep the weight off. Well, this thing went on sale a week before that, and uh, my mother bought it for me for my birthday. So it just worked out really nicely that I got a cool looking walking stick that I could turn into a cane and that would work in self-defense situations, which this is what it was designed for. I mean, it's a self-defense stick that you can use as a cane. Uh, the whole thing is, I think it's 37 inches long from tip to tip. You're going to see, I put a new tip on it. Um, it comes with a hard plastic, not just like this stuff, tip. And uh, if you're walking around and it's smooth floor, that tip doesn't really stay in place very well. So I went out and I bought two of these because that's how it came. Um, they're an inch and a quarter bases, little rubber bases from um, Shopee's Rubber Mart. So you can get them at Rexall and stuff like that too. But yeah, works just fine. Popped it on. It's actually really difficult to get off. <laughs> so that's why this looks like it does now. Um, I used this thing for three weeks as a cane and uh, we'll look at the cane aspects of it first and then we'll look at the self-defense aspects. So this thing as a cane, obviously you can see I put my hand on it, my shoulder is a little high. It should actually be a little bit shorter for me, but I didn't want to cut it down because um, it's a perfect size for a walking stick for my girlfriend. So she's this tall. So it's a little bit easier for her to use this as a walking stick than me to use it as a cane, but it worked out perfectly. So I put that little tip on there. Uh, one thing that I noticed is your hand's going to get really sore because all the weight is pressing down on here. Even if you do it on the other side, on the opposite foot, it still hurts. So I, very first day, thought what could I put on there to help it. Well, I was noticing that it was also this, this fake wood veneer, um, which is pretty tough by the way. I've seen people chip this on concrete. Um, I haven't broken it yet, I've dropped it. But on this veneer, I was putting the thick rubber bands. Uh, the first one was just around like that, give me a little extra grip. And of course, when I leaned it against the counter, I didn't want to roll it off. So eventually, what I did is, I actually had like 14 of these put all over this stick. Um, it covered the head pretty well. Gave me good grip overall. This is just four of them. Um, gave me enough cushioning that I could walk around using this all day and my hand didn't hurt very much. It gave good grip so that if my hand curled over, I had grip underneath here. Uh, I wasn't getting blisters on my fingers and I could actually grip the stick on its own. So as a cane, you know, it left something to be desired, but as a walking stick and a self-defense item, I thought it was actually pretty cool. Um, it's it's not actually an inch and a half down here, it's just about an inch, it's slightly over that, and I think it's like an inch and three quarters up here. It tapers down nicely, and obviously these little nubs are supposed to simulate the um, blackthorn wood, like the actual blackthorn walking sticks, um, but I guess it wasn't commercially viable and they couldn't uh, keep the consistency. So you might have one that was great, and you could just wail on someone, and the next one you hit him, and uh, oh look, he's on the ground and he's kind of broken. So. Uh, this thing weighs, sorry I got a cheat sheet in front of me, um, mostly because I keep forgetting the weight. It's 1.75 pounds. It's obviously head weighted, a balance point. Trying to find a balance point in something with this many knobbies is a little difficult because the knobbies get in the way, but it's about what I'd say there. Um, Overall, I mean, like I said, this is a great walking stick. It's a, definitely a great self-defense item. Um, 
you find a lot of people <laughs> who have bought this probably do know, I uh, probably know a little bit better than me, what they're doing. Um, I actually found that the best way to use it, and I've whacked a few shins with it, people being rude, people thinking, oh look, there's a cripple, let's get his money and stuff like that. Um, you can just flick it into their shins and it actually hurts because, I mean, you've got, like I said, almost two pounds of weight and it comes down to this little hard nub there. Um, it's great for if you're in a self-defense situation and someone's, say you actually need this, you can right on someone's toe and that's however much force you can put down, 20, 30 pounds onto the toe. If they're not wearing steel toes, they're going to feel it. It might not be crippling, but it's a keep back. Um, you can, of course, jab with it. I mean, from here, it doesn't have the curve that you've got on a regular cane, so you don't have as much leverage. You really do have to use more of your wrist. Um, a friend of mine's a half keto guy, and he can whip this thing around, but he's worked on his wrist for half keto for years. Me, uh, I'm not going to insert a wrist joke here. I tend to have to grip it a bit more like a, uh, a sword or a stick. So, uh, another friend does Lacan, which is a French cane fighting, and he loves this thing. He bought himself one too, along with the cold steel uh, dragon stick, which he doesn't like quite as much. A little fancy. Uh, and he loves the fact that he can just jab in and out with it. Or, while he's walking, he's a little bit shorter than me, so he can use this as a walking stick too. He can just bring the head up and hit people, or hit them in the stomach. Um, this thing is really rather strong, so really shouldn't have made a noise like that on YouTube, but as you can tell, it doesn't really bend very much. Um, it is great balanced. It is very head heavy, but I mean, that seems to be the idea. It's still a really, really nice stick, but it's also a really good weapon. Um, I do recommend it if you, especially if, like me, you've wanted something like this for a while. Um, and like I said, I got it like a week, or I ordered it a week, before my birthday, and that was right around the time my foot was really starting to hurt, and I went to see the doctor. So it just worked out perfectly that I got a cane, I could use it as a cane, and as a self-defense item. Uh, if you need a cane and you want one that you can actually use as a self-defense item, Cold Steel makes them, K-Bar makes them. I saw the weirdest thing where a cane turned into a Tonfa. You know what you pay for, guys. Uh, this was about... Cold Steel on their website advertises it at uh, 65 bucks. I got it through Warrior and Wonders on sale for 50 and shipping and handling and taxes, of course, still on that. But you can order it um, through them. I've seen it on Knife Zone. Uh, I don't remember the price on Knife Zone. Uh, I was trying out Warriors and Wonders, so this was actually my first purchase through them. It came to me in three days. It was really nice. Um, again, I don't have a partnership with any stores or even any supplies. I don't get this stuff for free. I have to buy it, so I tend to shop around a bit. So. Where I bought it might not have it, you'll have to go to your local retailer, but you shouldn't have to pay much more than $65 for it. Um, and if you do, remember to pick up two or three bucks to pick up a tip. And I picked up those rubber bands, they were around my office. If you wanted to put a piece of leather or something like that over here, or if you've got um, anti-fatigue mats and you want to tie that on here, Whatever. If you're going to use it as a cane, just remember your hand might get a little sore, so you're going to want a little bit of cushioning. Um, you know, what else can I really say about it? This thing is, obviously you'll see a lot of people baseball bat it uh, when they use it for self-defense. Like I said, I actually prefer to use it more as a stick, because it does give me the option of jabbing, and then I can always follow in with the back, or jab with that. Um, but yeah, a little more Eskrima style, a little more Kavi style than just baseball batting it on someone. Um, what will it do to someone? Well, I mean, this thing is solid. Uh, I've had this thing drop on concrete a few times, and, you know, it's no worse for the wear. Uh, I will do a quick...
smash test for you guys on a watermelon. Yes, I know it's not a coconut. I don't want to whack a coconut. I'm getting tired of eating coconut. Um, and a watermelon's a little bit more fun. So let's go to the watermelon. So as you can see, I've already cut the top off this watermelon. Uh, that was a chop test with caning. It's the same watermelon. But now we're going to see how a watermelon or a human head would hold up to this. Um, I'm going to use it probably two-handed, but I'm not going to baseball bat with the ball head. I am going to baseball bat with this part. So uh, hopefully I can get this on slow-mo too, and uh, we will see how this goes. I'm hoping I don't destroy my cameras. Let's find out. I hit a little low, I actually hit the um, my board, and then it bounced up into it. So that watermelon death was probably, eh, maybe 60% of the strength. And I finally got the bottom off. So now i got to clean that and clean this from all the uh, death and destruction of the watermelon. That actually looks like braids. Alright, let's go back inside, finish off the review. So yeah, that was the watermelon test. Um, I went a little low and it just basically left a little bit of a scuff on the cane. No damage from whacking that thing. So I mean, I kind of screwed up on there and the watermelon didn't get the full brunt, but obviously broke the watermelon apart. Um, this thing is a great self-defense item. I mean, you can definitely buy it if you need a cane, buy it if you want a self-defense item, or if you just want a cool-looking cane and a walking stick. People have actually stopped me while I was using this. Uh, stopped me in my local grocery store, stopped me on the street, and asked me about it, and where did I get it, and all that, and do I recommend getting it. If you need a cane, and you want something this cool, get it. You know, like I said, you're going to pay 65 bucks at most. Uh, maybe your local orthopedic surgeon will actually be really cool and carry something like this. Um, if you're a senior citizen and you're thinking about getting something like this, it's a great idea. Uh, another resource available for senior citizens and non-seniors, you just have to go and ask if it's okay if you attend. Um, they do cane self-defense. You know, they'll teach you how to just hit someone in the groin, hit someone in the head, and run away. It, it's not, you know, it, it's a little unusual when you first go, but go. It's really fun. I mean, also, you know, if you can find someone who does Kali, they might be able to teach you something like this, or Lacan, or anything like that. Um, you know, if you're going to have a self-defense item, learn how to use it correctly. Uh, Papkido, my friend has shown me a few tricks for that. Lacan, uh, my friend showed me a few tricks for that. I don't know anyone who does the traditional Shalele fighting, so I don't know, you know, if there's any cool unknown random techniques that uh, I haven't already picked up from some other martial art. Um, but yeah, Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn and the Walking Stick, do I recommend you get one? Yes. Should you get one? Yes. It's just a really cool little walking stick. But, you know what, that's going to be the end of the review. Um, get yourself a Cold Steel Walking Stick if you want to. Um, you can get the Blackthorn, or you can get the Chinese dragon one. Um, Eratus Jackalope has one of those. You'll see it in one of his videos. Really hope I said his name right. Sorry if I screwed up your name, dude. Um, but yeah, get them. They're great for self defense, and you can actually use them as a cane. So that's about it. Until next time, guys, I'm Stick Guy 187. Stay sharp.